Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. So first thing, what each AWS? Okay, what is AWS? So AWS stand for Amazon Web Services. Okay, now when I say Amazon Web Services, the Amazon we understand what is Amazon. It's company name. Web also we understand like internet, HTTP website, right? But the question is, what is the services we are talking about here? So we are talking about the services of <clears throat> infrastructure. We are talking about the services of platform. We are talking about the services of software. So in simple way, we say <clears throat> infra and the service IS platform as a service which is called pass and software as a service which is called SaaS. now in you want to understand okay can you just tell me in a simple way what is a infra as a service so service infra as a service that means you want to compute 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 means what your laptop is a compute unit but you want the compute at somewhere else so can you create a VM in your laptop? Yes, virtual machines. In your laptop, you can create a virtual machines, but laptop have certain limitation, right? If you see that virtual machines have created so many, I cannot run more than two VMs in my laptop. What to do? Go to the cloud. So you want the compute, go to the cloud. You want storage, go to the cloud. You want anything as such more, networking and more, go to the cloud. So that is something which you have at a cloud that is called services that means a simple way I'll, I'll put it up if you want to create a virtual machines go to the aws if you want to create a uh, if you want to have a storage where you want to store a lot of data go to the aws and many many other features also when you say platform means what so platform means a place where we can develop and run applications okay so that means that means for example i'll put it in a simple way uh, you have been given compute and then you have been given environment you just run applications okay so that is something like a quality platform for example i don't know how many of you have heard about the sap labs in you know uh, uh, service now this company uh, this one more company which is very uh, very strong in srm uh, i'm not forget i'm not getting the name of it um, salesforce salesforce so salesforce kind of companies so aws is also platform as a service so some of the services there are platform as a service so there you go and they use their platform create application on top of that and use it so is it called platform as a service software as a service like a gmail like a Facebook, like Instagram, like a LinkedIn. So have you ever got into that, how the Facebook is running? How much CPU they're using, how much RAM they're using, how much storage they're having it, how which how many servers they're running, how they're running the service. You don't worry about that, just go and log in and use it, simple. So some software, you have a software service. Okay. So in Amazon, you can get everything. In fact, function as a service, also you get it. So many things. Now you want to know what is the difference between IIS versus PaaS versus SaaS. Simple, don't need to bother too much. Just look at this, any one image, any one image, millions of images you'll find, and uh, you see that here. So earlier, what we used to do, when you set up a private data center, you will have everything. 
but because of limitation of resources you see we want to focus on the our software we don't want to manage the data center and all stuff like that okay so what to do so initially we people started migrating to the is that means okay i will take your servers storage and networking and on top of that i will have my own operating system and build the application run the application this is called is you see that so in this year a uh, networking storage server uh, servers and virtualization will be managed by aws google cloud azure and you will manage operating system with middleware runtime like java and all data and applications but in a platform uh, the aws will manage everything till runtime and you manage only data and application so this is can be uh, this one service database service which can you can say like that pass software as a service they will manage everything you don't have to manage anything just use consume the applications just consumers you will become a consumer are you understanding all of you yes. all of you yeah so in yes. a simple way in a simple way see i'm just putting in a simple word but it can be more complicated also in a simple way anything you want nowadays to run your applications or applications you can go and ask aws so you know how many services aws have how many services the aws have aws has 5000 plus services yes 5000 5000 services okay so aws has more than 5000 services so it's a ocean actually it's ocean okay so now which are the services today i will be talking about so we'll have a two sessions on aws okay two hours we have today and yeah. two hours we have yeah. next time. yeah tell me okay hello no no, no i don't like the recording going to be there okay i'll mute everyone okay so those who want to ask a question you can unmute yourself okay so now the question is how do we get started so basically everything you can get like on internet every services so how do we get started so step number one i'll put in step number one register at aws so here what you what you want just again give me two seconds Okay, so register at AWS. Guys, can are you able to see my screen? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay, I, I think I'm having some internet issues. So whenever you feel like there's some connectivity issues, uh, please budge in the WhatsApp group. So I'll get to know. So today the internet is not stable at my place. So uh, you'll have to be with it. So how do we register at AWS? So guys, you know what? you want uh, virtual machines just like this okay so you can create in your laptop free of cost no problem it's not a costing any anything anything you want to set up i repeat anything as part of the devops course you want to set up everything you can set up in this your own laptop you don't need anyone else don't need a cloud for it but if you want to learn cloud then you have to be on cloud okay okay so what to do so here i will go for aws trial account okay trial account now this account you have to go and register it now this uh, trial account you know what they offer you for 12 months okay so spend some time here don't rush don't rush to register and with your credit card and uh, ultimately half information is very dangerous okay so you go for this trial account and this is free for 12 months but not everything not everything so what is free for 12 months what is a free lifetime what is free during the trial period and how much free per month everything you should know before using i'm not saying like you have to spend a lot of time here but any services which you use it okay any services which you use it you have to go and find out the information. Are you understanding, guys? All of you? 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here, EC2, EC2 means what? Virtual machine, simple. 750 hours per month free, but not all. Only there is a T2 micro and T2, uh, T3 2 micro is free. Not everything is free. S3, which is another services, 5GB is free. RDS, which is a platform with a service database, 750 hours free, but only limited capacity. So here, whatever is free, basically, AWS don't want you to use it for the production boxes, production use cases, or something for trial, uh, something for you want to install some software for a year and then use it. No, they don't want you to do that. They just want some of the features you to access free of cost for 12 months, only so you can learn the AWS, nothing else. So please spend some time and then register it. You require one email ID, ID and one credit card. So anyone can register and start getting all this stuff. Now, step number two, okay. Understand region and availability zone, ABAI, ability zone, that's all. To get started, you need to understand region and availability zone. Now, what is the region then? So guys, understand that AWS want to offer the web services, the one which we discussed, these are the kind of web services worldwide. So they cannot offer everything from one place, one data center. So they, they said, I will do one thing. I will set up a multiple data center in the different, different countries. And they call it that is region. So if you go for here, this is the region you have active. Look at this. Okay. Any images you look at it, these are the regions you have it active. And some of the regions will be upcoming. So these are the regions you. That means the when they say region, that means that is the place they have a data center located. Okay. So in India, we have one region which is a Mumbai. Okay. Upcoming in Chennai or Hyderabad, I think. I need to check. I read long time back. And in Africa, we have one. Europe, we have many. US, we have many. Uh, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, and all we have. China, we have few, and all stuff like that. So region is basically a data center on which you want to use it. So region are separated. It's a it's a not as connected with each other. It's like a separate data center. Okay. So that is a region. Now, now what is the availability zone? So what they did understand this way uh, let's say uh, i'll just put it a picture in simple way amid spend so here let's say this is the world this is the world map i'm just drawing what way and they have a different different region there's a region one region two region three so these are the different data centers uh, you know group but in the each region what they do because let's say you are running applications here. You are running application in one place and suddenly that data center has gone, gone destroyed. Why? War, earthquake, you know, tsunami, that water flood and all stuff like that. It can happen, a terrorist attack. It can happen anything, right? So your entire thing is gone. So what they do? They say, okay, listen, one data centers, we keep it divided into two parts, and this one will keep it in a li little bit different uh, different locations, and this one will keep it different, but this and this will be connected to each other. Are you understanding all of you? All of you? Yeah. Yes. So that yeah, way, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. So that way, whatever the data you are keeping here, and if that gets destroyed, so you have still the backup here. So that means this is your job to run one application here, one application here, and then serve to your end user. High availability, that concept, you call it a high availability. If you are running in only in one region, oh sorry, only one availability zone, then it's a risk, it's your bad design. In fact, not only you, but they also, because if you remember that in the uh, SaaS uh, comparison, they also run so many applications for you as part of the PaaS and SaaS. If you're using us, then you have to take care of your application. Runtime, they'll, I mean, infra, they'll take care of it. But they also offer SaaS and PaaS. So for that also, when they run application here, they have a backup here. When they run application, they have a backup here. 
across the region also it can be done but yeah too much of cost involved depends so what is the region we understand different different data center what is the availability zone dividing the one data center into two part making it available for availability so that's the region we call it the availability zone so one region you can convert in the multiple zone for what availability make sense all of you if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching